All right, so here's the problem set. It says, plot the following points in the number line without measuring, okay? So I look at all these, I see, I see this is a mixed number, this is a mixed number, and this one's not. So I wanna change this one to a mixed number to make it so I can fit between this number line with two and four. Notice this number line starts at two. So one is way down here somewhere, and then zero is probably way down here somewhere, like, you know what I mean, way off the page. So this is a piece of a number line, and, and it goes between two and four. So all these fractions must land in there somewhere. So 12 goes into 29 two full times, because, you know, 12 times two is 24, right? There'd be five left over 12th. So it's two and five twelfths. So let's just start off with this one. Okay, we're gonna zoom in on two and seven eighths. So two and seven eighths. So it's gotta be, it's greater than two, but it's less than three. And it's seven eighths, it's almost to three. All right, so two and seven eighths would land right about here somewhere. Okay, we're gonna land two and seven eighths would be right about there. Think about it, one more eighth and I'm at three, right? Okay, so that's the reasoning. I'm reasoning that this is close to three because one eighth, which is a small amount, one more of those I'd have three exactly. So it's just shy of eight. Okay, so I see three and one six. So it has to be greater than three, right? Because it's, it's a six greater. So it's gotta be in this area somewhere, right? If I cut this piece uh, of this line into six, it would have to be like right about, I don't know, I'd say right about here. So three and one six. Okay, that's this half, sorry. There's a glare on my paper and I'm having a hard time. Great. And then this one is two and five twelfths. Well, it's between two and three, right? I know that. And then I look at the five twelfths and I know, well, half of 12 is six. So this is just shy of being halfway. So if this is halfway to three, this is just shy of that. So I'd say it's around here somewhere. So we'd say two and five twelfths. Okay, see the reasoning I used? I used this one with a half, this one was close to three, and this one was just above that three, okay? So that's how we get those. All right, now I'm gonna use the number line in problem 1A to compare the fractions by writing greater than, less than, um, or equal to, okay? So 29 twelfths, which is this one. Well, that's less than every other one. So I'm just gonna say it's less than two and seven eighths. Excuse me for my late yawn. It's late here at the Sherwin house. And then I got 29 twelfths again, and guess what? That's also less than the other fraction because it's the lowest one on my number line. It has to be less than three and one six, okay? All right, so we're gonna do the same thing with this one down here. Plot the points, following points on the number line without measuring. Okay, so we're gonna use benchmarks. And look at this. Our line is seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's like this is a piece of number line way up on the number scale, all right? So I'm going to convert my fractions to mixed numbers. So 9 goes into 70, 7 full times. And how do I know that? Because 9 times 7 is 63, right? It's just shy of 70. And that would mean that there's 7 left over, 9. So this one is 7 and 7 ninths, okay? This one's a mixed number already. We're good. This one is not. So how many times does three fit in a 25 without going over? The answer here is eight, because three times eight is 24. So if it's 24, it's just one left thirds, okay? All right, so now I got everything in mixed number form. So this first one, seven and seven ninths. All right, so I know that it's gonna be between seven and eight, because that's seven right there. So seven ninths, half of nine, really be four and a half in here somewhere. So seven ninths would be up in here. So I'm gonna write that down. Seven and seven ninths, okay. Eight and two fourths. Well, I know two fourths is exactly half, don't you? Yeah, because the numerator is a half of the denominator, we have exactly half. So eight and nine, this is exactly halfway. So eight and two fourths. And then finally, I've got eight and a third, okay? So I'm gonna be in here. So a third is definitely less than a half. So that'd be in here somewhere. So eight and one third, great. All right, so I reasoned um, about halfway. You really use my halfway point here a lot. So compare the following fractions. I can do that. 
8 and 2 fourths is greater than 25 thirds, just by a little bit. And then 70 ninths, this one, I converted it though, if you remember that, okay, is less than 8 and 2 fourths. Okay. Explain how you plotted the points in problem two, okay? Well, first, I converted all fractions greater than one to mixed numbers. I'm getting off the page here. Then, I reasoned about holes and halves to find my point or points on the line. Okay? You can pause that so kids can get that written down. Okay? So basically, what I'm saying here is that I converted my fractions greater than 1 to mixed numbers, and then I reasoned about my holes, 7, 8, 9, and my halfway points to figure out where they would land on the line. Okay? All right, over on the back. All right, it says compare the fractions given below by writing greater than, less than, or equal to. Give a brief explanation for each referring to a benchmark fraction. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna do our best with this, okay? We'll do a few together, and then teachers, if you wanna pause the video and then have kids do the some on their own and go from there, uh, be my guest. Should be good. Okay, all right. So some of these fractions are gonna have to convert to whole numbers and or mixed numbers, and some I won't, all right? So five and a third and four and three fourths. I know this one's greater because it's got a bigger whole number. I don't even have to pay attention to the, the fractions, okay? Here, I got six twelfths and 25 twelfths, okay? This is exactly two. So I'm gonna convert this one to a whole number. Six goes into 12 two times, there's no leftover, so it's exactly two. This goes into 25 two times. However, there's one leftover, so it's two and one twelfth. This one's just a tad higher, okay? Then I have this one, 18 sevenths and 17 fifths. I gotta convert this one. Seven goes into 18 twice, four left over, two and four sevenths. Okay, so that's just above two and a half. Five goes into 17 three times with two left over, and of course we're fifths. All I have to do is compare my whole numbers. Three is greater than two, so. 2 and 4 sevenths is less than 3 and 2 fifths. All right, here we go. All right, so now I see this one. My whole numbers are exactly the same, so I have to look at my fractions. 2 fifths and 5 eighths, all right? I know by reasoning about a halfway point that 5 eighths is greater than a half because exactly 4 eighths would be a half. I know 2 fifths is less than a half because... Three fifths would be more, but two fifths is less. See how it's an odd number, it's like that? So five and two fifths is less than five and five eighths. Six and two thirds. Again, teachers, feel free to pause at any time and have the kids kind of go off and you can check in back in with me. And six and three sevenths. So I have to reason about my fraction size here, okay? I see two thirds, that's more than halfway. All right, that's more. One third would be less, but two thirds is more because it's an odd number that way. Six is the same. Three sevenths is less than half because four sevenths would be greater. Three sevenths would be less, right? Because it's an odd number. So I know that six and two thirds is greater than six and three sevenths. So this one. All right, we gotta convert this one, I'm sure. Seven goes into 31, four full times because it's four times seven is 28. There'd be three left over, seven, okay. Eight goes into 32, four times, done, because eight goes into, eight times four is 32. 
This one's three sevenths more. So 31 sevenths is greater. All right, let's take a look at G. 31 tenths and 25 eighths. 10 goes into 31, three full times with one left over. So it's one tenth. And then I've got 20, 25 eighths. Eight goes into 25 three times with one left over and eight. Eight times three is 24, okay? So now it just comes down to this. Which is bigger, a tenth or an eighth? Yeah, an eighth's bigger, all right? So 31 tenths is less than 25 eighths. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. 12 goes into 39 three full times because three times 12 is 36. There'd be three left over, 12th, okay? Six goes into 19 three full times with one left over, and that's six, okay. So I gotta figure out which one's greater here, all right? So what I would do is um, I would convert this sixth into two twelfths by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by two because two sixths is the same as one twelfth. So now I can compare three twelfths and two twelfths and I can see that three twelfths is greater, right? Because my holes are the same. So 39 twelfths is greater than nine sixths, nine sixths. And then here, all right? 49 fiftieths, oh man, that is just shy of a half, right? You know what I mean? Actually, no, it's just, just shy of a hole, I'm sorry. It's just shy of a hole, because 50 fiftieths would be one, right? Just barely shy of a hole. Then over here, I've got three and 90 hundredths. Well, it's got a three holes, so that's automatically bigger. So 49 fiftieths is less than three and 90 hundredths. And then finally, five and five twelfths and five and 51 hundredths, okay? So the fives are the same. So now I gotta take a look at my fractions and let's compare this to halfway. What's half of 12? Six, right? So five is just a little bit less than that. So this is just a little bit less than half. So I look at 51 hundredths. What's half of 100? 50, right? So this one is just a wee bit more than a, than a half. So five and five twelfths is less than five and 51 hundredths, okay? All right, kids, that's our lesson for today. All right, nice job. Um, I think we're getting the hang of it. We're doing a pretty good job, and uh, we're getting through it. You know, we're getting almost to the end of our math, our, uh, of our um, fractions unit, okay? All right, kids, we'll see you tomorrow.